Cancer, welcome to your September 2024 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you may feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you have in regards to your love life. If there is a certain special someone, start thinking about them now and we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say for you guys for the month of September in love and romance, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Cancer. And for this reading, I am tuning into an energy in and around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or taken, whether you're currently in a connection with this energy or in separation. Let's see whose energy wants to come through, why they're coming through, and what this means for you guys for the month of September. So tell me about the energy surrounding Cancer right now that wants to come through for Cancer's reading. Oh, well, we got protected. You guys have a powerful team around you trying to direct you at this time in love and romance. You're getting the signs, you're getting the synchronicities, you're drawn to the readings, you're getting the messages. And it says you are safe and divinely guided. So We'll pull more cards. This could go two ways. This could be that you're being protected from something that isn't for your highest good. Or what's coming into your life is something where spirit is making sure pass all the tests before they come up because you've been through enough karmic cycles. You're not trying to get on another train to, you know, Helltown, USA or wherever. And um, you're going to be sure that this is going to be protected. And I feel that protective energy around you. But, you know, now that I'm tuning into this, I feel someone very protective over you, Cancer. I don't know, very protective of your name. Anyone who tries to talk crap will shut it down. I don't know. I, I feel this need to protect you. I don't know. Let's let's pull some more cards to get deeper into this. Tell me more about this energy for Cancer. They're coming out fast. Choice. Ooh, someone has a choice to make. I feel it's going to be you, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like this is the reason why Spirit is sending you so many messages right now, synchronicities, telling you specific things in your own card pulls, in your own meditations. Like, you know that there's something that needs to be done by this month involving a certain situation. You know, I wonder for some of you guys if Spirit, you're in, you're, someone's on the fence here, whether this is you or the other person. It's like, should I stay or should I go? Or like, who do I choose? Like that type of energy I'm feeling really here, strongly here. Um, someone could be wearing red right now. Red, someone's favorite color or a color. Or this could be, you know, pertaining to the person who I'm really tapping into that um, you may have to make a choice on that you saw them wearing red last time. So let's get into this because you guys definitely need this information right now. Someone could have steps leading up to their doorway, whether it's an apartment complex or like a 
you know, townhouse. I'm seeing that there. Confirmation of who I'm talking about. Tell me more about this energy surrounding cancer spirit. Okay. They're jumpy. Okay. So first we have the Knight of Cups. Ooh, Pisces energy. Someone's making a move, Cancer. Someone's going to try to charm you. It's going to try to romance you, try to woo you. Let's get more cards out and then we'll do a deep dive. Mm, hanged man. Very strong Pisces energy. So if you guys are dealing with the Pisces or you have very strong Pisces in your chart, I suggest checking out the Pisces reading to see if there's messages for you there. The Emperor. Wow. Mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles came out, and I heard that song by Rihanna featuring Drake. Work, 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 work. I don't know. Maybe that's a song you guys have been hearing. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. So, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. This is Pisces energy. So I feel with this Ten of Cups, someone has decided on you. Someone is fully in on you. And someone wants to have this Ten of Cups with you. You provide everything that they would want for a happy, stable, loving partnership. I do feel like with the Ten of Cups, they've been hanging out with you. And every time they hang out with you, they gain something out of it. They fall more in love with you. So I feel something is about to come through cancer with the knight of cups of an offer here and i do feel like maybe some of you guys have been disappointed in the past we see that with the seven of pentacles where you put effort into nothing surmounted but i feel this is different and i feel what's being brought into your life is divinely sent is divinely protected here i feel with the ten of cups um this could be someone that has kids or maybe you have kids and I think like you guys are going to be able to make it work very nicely if that has been a worry. But even if someone doesn't have kids, I feel like you guys bring a childlike energy out of each other to have fun. A spontaneous energy that makes someone feel emotionally excited. I don't usually feel this with the Ten of Cups, but I'm feeling it here with you guys. I'm seeing a hookup on like a table or a counter or a desk that I'm talking about this energy here. And someone could also have a very unique haircut or when you guys met however long ago, they had a very unique haircut or you did, I'm seeing. But with this Ten of Cups, Cancer, someone sees that they can have it all with you. And I think every experience they've had with you up until this point has really solidified that they want to spend their good amount of time with you. They don't see that they could be this happy with anyone else but you, Cancer. Wow. Some of you guys do a little bit of PDA. They can't help but want to touch you, want to kiss you. Um, but I, I feel like they have this need to show you how much they love you by doing those things. Hold your hand. Um, very touchy-feely type of person here. I'm even seeing someone that gives the other person a massage, a foot rub, maybe. Let's get into it. The dead center of this is the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. I do feel like someone wants to come forward and tell you something, tell you that they care about you, that they love you. They want to offer something to show you that their heart is yours. I do feel what they're saying is coming from the heart. I do feel what they're saying is something that they fantasized about for a long time. And um, this person's very genuine and when they feel moved by something, when they feel like they have faith in something, they act towards it. They act towards their intuition, their gut feelings, and they're getting really great ones about you, Cancer. And I do feel like I've been getting this with some of the signs lately too, so I wonder what's going on astrologically. But it's almost as if like someone's getting a confirmation from spirit about you. I don't know. It's beyond just like flipping a coin. It's like, damn, like this keeps on happening. Or when I'm with Cancer, I keep feeling this way. This has to mean something. And spirit confirmed it for them. I feel like they really miss you when you guys can't be together, when you're away from each other. I do feel like they initiate the text messages, just seeing how you are, what you're up to, what you're doing. 
this person could be very artistically creative or very um have like a very nice imagination they could be um you know in marketing they could be in writing they could be uh designers like um social media like um media workers like setting up kind of like stages scenes like something along those lines where they can really put their creativity to work here and that's something that um I think is something that caught your eye about this person and they're also not afraid to be themselves they live life to what they feel like they want to live life in and I think that's something you've always noticed about them that you were drawn to them I'm also seeing someone that likes to like write love letters or maybe love notes or very long text messages. What's crossing this is the hangman, Pisces energy. I feel this is whoever needs to make the choice. This is opposite from whoever's coming towards this with the Knight of Cups energy. I feel with the hanged man, someone's been single for a long time and I feel with the hanged man that, you know, being with this person has changed a lot of their perspective on love and romance. I think someone didn't think they were going to fall in love anytime soon, that someone wasn't going to bring them out of their shell or their comfort zone of being single. Because I think for a while being single made someone feel like, okay, no one can hurt me. No one can, you know, crush me. And I think someone got used to almost being single for so long that it's very different for them now that they're in this space. But I do feel like spirit is reiterating, like, you're safe. You're safe with this person. You're safe with this option. I'm not talking about anyone that would make you feel elsewise. And I also feel like um, you guys are getting a lot of visions right now. And that could be from thinking about this person, something comes up in your third eye chakra. Um, I feel like you're getting very vivid dreams. And I do feel with that, like those are all messages being sent to you, Cancer, about the choice you need to make. And I do feel maybe you'll need some time to think about it. But once you kind of listen to your intuition and really kind of listen to the messages and the guidance spirits trying to give you, I think you're going to feel more and more comfortable. Someone has a weird sleeping position. I'm just noticing. I don't know if they take too much of the bed, too much of the covers, or I don't know. They sleep in a weird way. Um, just confirmation about who I'm talking about here. What's crowning this is the emperor. This could be someone that's older than you, um, doesn't have to be, but I feel very strong, confident, masculine energy that wouldn't be wasting their time if they didn't feel a certain way. They're responsible, they like to take care of business, they like to be upfront, honest. Um, they could be business people, sales people, um, they could even be like, you know, managers, bosses, CEOs, CFOs type of thing I see here. But this person wants to be dedicated. This person wants to hold this down. And I do feel like, again, I don't know, maybe there's this energy around this of wanting to make sure they bring the stability into your life. I feel with this emperor energy a certainty about you, Cancer. And a decision that they made and now they're waiting for the other side to make it. And you could always flip the roles if it is reverse. I do feel with this energy too, I gotta say, someone may have had a father that passed away. And that father is a spirit guide. And I do feel, for those of you this is resonating with, they approve of this person. And they approve of this road that you could go down. And I do feel there's a certain animal um, that they're, they come through in your visions. Some I'm seeing a seal, some I'm seeing a wolf, but obviously it could be anything. But I, I feel like that's what one of your spirit guides, whether it's a father or just a very protective energy of you, wants you to know that they approve of this. I do want to clarify this emperor energy to get big deeper here. 
someone could be born near the pig in Chinese astrology. Tell me more about this emperor crowning your reading. Eight of Pentacles coming out twice. So two eights here. Your birthday could be July 8th, July 18th, or June 28th. They're going to work, and they mean it. They're going to do all that they can, and they will not slack. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Interesting. So seven, six, seven, eight, quite literally, things are progressing. They're looking to progress things, and they're very solid on this. Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, they're going to fight for this. They're going to prove it to you. If there's any sort of doubt on your end, they want to make sure all those doubts disappear. They are going to be very upfront and honest about what their intentions are, what they're looking to do. They have a, like, I don't know, this person is very good at planning things, and so they have a plan if there's something that needs to get budgeted in order for you guys to have something, or how this could be executed in a way where if work interferes, they could get it done. Um, in order to have this happen, they're completely sold on the idea of the two of you. And I think they feel right now they're the ones really battling for this in order to be with you, Cancer. And they're doing research right now on how they can, you know, pursue this with you, on how they can, you know, sell you this idea. Six of Cups. So for some of you guys, you've known each other for a long time. Maybe you've always had feelings for each other for a long time, but that didn't really come forward until this year, reuniting, like almost as if you were friends a long time ago and then recently caught up again, or you've been in this for some time, or Six of Cups is always a past life energy for me. And I think um, that's what drew your souls together is that you've had a past life with each other. And that's why, like, there's something about this energy, maybe even the Ten of Cups, you were married in a past life, you had a family in a past life. And that's why they feel so certain with being you in this lifetime from what they experienced from a last uh, past life. But I think also someone may be concerned if they do have children, what their children are going to think moving on to someone new. And it's never easy, I can say that, as being a child of divorce, but um, I, in the end, like if someone's truly happy, I think that's what matters most to your kids because then you can show them a good example of what love and romance should be. What's reading this is the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So I do feel like their actions have been, you know, aligning with their words. I do feel like they initiate conversations with you equally. They um, definitely are the type that likes to plan. So plan vacations, plan trips, plan where you guys are going to go eat. I think they do just like to kind of be in that role of, you know, being the one that takes care of all the events and the plans and the situations. But I think it means a lot to you that they care this much. I feel with this Eight of Pentacles, they did something nice to, for you to like surprise you, like wrote on your car window on the back of it or like threw a surprise party for you or had your friends come over. I don't know, something for some of you guys that showed that they cared a lot and that they really wanted to make this work. But also with the Eight of Pentacles coming out twice, there could be the only issue I really see here is that someone uh, works a lot of hours and someone's job is very demanding, very stressful. So there could be times where someone has to be on call, let's just say, and they work at a hospital and at any given moment they have to stop what they're doing to go over and to go to work. So that could be something that, you know, may be a part of making this decision, knowing that someone's work life may have to take some sort of priority over being together. But even so, I think they're not going to allow that to interfere with, you know, putting the time and effort in you. I can see that and I can clarify that. Someone when they're home likes to put on a hoodie and likes to put the hood up. <laughs> I'm just seeing that as confirmation for someone too. Maybe someone's even listening to this reading with the hoodie up right now. Um, but yeah, I think with this Eight of Pentacles reading this, you have seen the effort they've been making and you do feel like what they've been doing has showed you that they cared. So it is kind of helping someone come out of the hangman energy of being 
you know, single for so long and am I really ready for this? In the recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus energy. So now there's two sevens here. So your birthday could be July 7th, July 17th, or June 27th. I think, um, you know, they were very patient. It's whoever was in the hanged man space, they knew the other side that the hanged man was going to need some time and was going to need some effort, especially if they went through something that was really difficult in their love life or um, being single for so long. So I think they have done what they felt like they could to plant the seeds to show you the proof. And I think they've been waiting for some sort of sign from you outside of God's spirit, the universe to kind of give them the green light into this, that I'm ready for this. I want to have this, but they really haven't fully seen that yet. And maybe cancer, um, you know, so whoever's in the seven of pentacles it, energy is like, I see this growing and I see my feelings grow. But what if the what if is what's really stopping someone? What if, you know, something happens that sabotages all this? What if they cheat on me? What if they hurt me? What if, and that's kind of what's been keeping this at a stalemate here. Even though there's been no proof of that, the what ifs is kind of what is haunting someone. And I feel it's from a past or it's from, you know, the potential of being hurt that you don't want to go through again. But I feel with the Seven of Pentacles overall, like, they feel as if they've waited long enough. And if you're not going to take the initiative to bring up this conversation, I think they feel the pressure and the spotlight on them to do so now. So I think the time of waiting is over, at least on their end. And they're going to be asking this of you very soon, which the choice will be yours, Cancer. All right, Cancer, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month, you need to be aware of, know about, what are they going to do, what are they not going to do? If you guys really felt that this was your reading, I promise there'll be more information in the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the ex extended reading. But if this is where I depart, Cancer, I really hope this has resonated with you. I hope it's confirmed a lot for you. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever's happening in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.